So in the end, in the end, that's where we end up. There is some value in checking into it. I said this before, there is no such thing. Bear, just believe that it's real. If you assume that it doesn't exist, you won't be able to see it even if it's in front of your eyes. Mm. The key of the twilight exists in this game. Somewhere. Hey, can you hear me? When will this girl wake up? When will I be able to talk to her? Is she broken? That can't be. Well, when I heard about it, it was already becoming something of an internet legend. You mean things had started to settle down? Yeah. So much that I had forgotten about it until the whole Sukasa incident. How about you? Well, the first time I read about it, it was still white hot. It was in a message board on a fan site. By then, it was already a hot debate topic. Those that say it has to exist, and those that say there was no way it could exist. Neither side would give in either way. So, which side are you on? Well, I didn't enter the debate. I just wanted to act, just wanted to try anything. I thought that it would be better to look for it than to simply talk and talk about it. It was the right timing to do so as well. It was right after the Knights were first formed. Uh, you do know about the Knights of the Round Table, right? The Knights under King Arthur kept searching for the Holy Grail. And the Knights under Subaru kept searching for the Key of the Twilight. How's that? Doesn't it make you excited? Doesn't that excite you? <laughs> Though you never did find it. Failure is nothing to be ashamed of. If you learn something from it, it's possible to gain that lost ground and then some. And all you have to do is learn to avoid making the same mistake twice. Above all else, you should be ashamed of fearing failure. Besides, in this case, after searching all of the world, we never did find the key of the twilight. So we concluded that it doesn't exist. I think we ended up learning from our failure. And that's more than enough. So how did this issue come up for you and the Knights in the first place? <laughs> of you please mm. I was in trouble because there aren't that many people on at this time of day will you hear me out please what time is it <sighs> a little past four it's going to be light out again soon I see from tomorrow I mean today I'm going to be gone for three days on a trip and so during that time I'm afraid my grunty mm -hmm. and so I was looking for someone that would take care of this baby while I'm gone. You can't do that for me? Troublesome. I know that, but please. Three days. Please, it's just for three days. Boy, boy, I'm hungry. Boy, please let me eat something. Krim is going to pass this time around. <sighs> then you should have gone to Mac Anu. That place already has observers keeping an eye out. So what do you want? To discover what the key of the Twilight really is. I want to know where that story came from. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just imagined you and Krim teaming up, and I couldn't help it. I have some ideas to what kind of things you imagined. But the reality is quite different, I can assure you. Is that so? Now, about where the key of the twilight came from. Krim said that he looked for it some time ago, but that I should ask you about the more complicated things, Subaru. Krim always runs away, and before you know it, he's gone. I think he behaves that way about anything and everything. I know he means well, but you're absolutely right. There's not much you can do about his behavior. It took all my resources just to confirm where he ran to the last time. 
In that respect, I would say he's just as you imagined. You didn't think about putting reins on him, just in case? No, why? Because he... There was a time when he saved me. <laughs> that is to say, the way he behaves once saved me. Hmm. I can tell you that the existence of the Key of the Twilight is completely obscured in a great deal of mystery. Go on. Hmm. Bear, what is it? Hmm? You were just staring. Are you really busy with work? Do you know what I do for a living? No. I asked BT once, but she wouldn't give me an answer. I see. So what is it? A secret. Ah, fine. Whatever. You know, I don't think it does exist. This key of the twilight thing. Huh. So now we're talking about if it even exists, huh? I mean, it's an item that turns the game system upside down from its foundation, isn't that right? Uh -huh. That would only cause trouble for everyone. Why would something like that exist? <laughs> you realize something very important. <laughs> There's a medical term called apoptosis. Huh? Well, it's not that humans have five fingers on their hands from the very beginning. At first, their hands look more like kitchen spatulas. This shape we know is created when the cells between the fingers selectively die. Die? Basically, it's a programmed cell death. Cells that were placed there only to die. This goes against the flow of life, but as a result of that, fingers are created. So the key of the twilight, which goes against the system, might actually be here to create something, is what you're saying. It's just a thought. But when you put your mind to it, it seems wrong to simply assume that this thing doesn't exist. But I thought, this is a game world. A strange game indeed. I'm still wondering why this place is so different from all the other fields. Any thoughts? We talked about this before, remember? So I investigated. Ha! <laughs> so you're a detective! Strike one! Now you just have two more guesses left. Rats! This place used to be a small island floating on a lake. I'm not sure if that was the original setting, or if there was actually a time when water was painted into the scenery as a graphic effect. But there are people who say that when the water dried up from here, it happened right after a strange message appeared on the message board. As far as I know, we can date back only to the posting on the message board. And the contents? I don't know. It was unreadable in many places, and the message was in German to begin with. So I don't think most people were even able to read it in the first place. Then there was the fact that it was deleted very quickly. All this just adds to the mystery and makes the original message very hard to trace. And yet, there was enough information so that a debate would follow, correct? As for the debate, I'm not sure if it was based on the original text or on the hype that surrounded it. Furthermore, there is always the possibility that the text in its original form was someone simply pulling a prank that got out of hand. Hmm. I would love to see that message. Hey, hey. Huh? Isn't that you know who? Yeah, the one who fought against the knights. You should go over there and have a word with him. Why? It's better not to mess with him from what I heard. Just go over and talk to him and you'll be able to brag about it. Huh? What's he doing? Huh? That can't be him. Oh. Someone with that kind of notoriety wouldn't be raising a little grunty. <laughs> He's just as strange as we are. What? <laughs> but why? Welcome to the Grunty Farm here on Don Loriag, my young friend. What can I help you with today? Can you tell me what's wrong with that baby? Hmm? Oh, this is very bad. That baby has grunty distemper. <laughs> it's actually a worse disease than the name implies. Didn't you give him a vaccine for it? But can I? Hey, a purple cherry will work like a charm on it.
decided to look for it as well. I'm not going that far yet. There is that issue about Tsukasa though, so I just can't ignore it altogether. You're really that interested in Tsukasa then? <laughs> I don't care if it exists or not. In either case, we have no way of looking for it. I mean, where could we even start? We really don't have any information that we could even call a clue. Mimiru, the net is huge. I know. So? So, we know there are over 20 million people playing this game. If we're smart about our search, we may find someone who saved that first posting. You're just gonna post on the message board asking for information? I would never do such a thing. To start with, there's Subaru, and there's Krim. It looks like we're blessed with a number of outstanding connections. I see now. And him? And so the time has come for Mimiru to act. Him? You mean... Him? Oh, you're kidding! Oh, why me? So, are you up for this? <laughs> We're counting on it. <laughs> Greetings! Mm -hmm. Hi. Keep your trap shut, weirdo! Oh, yeah? Mimi Rude. Isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Now, what do you want? You're acting differently. I decided to stay strong when I'm around you. Not that I really have any reason to. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not that I necessarily hate your new attitude. Do you... Do you know anyone who handles information? Information? I'm looking for an old posting that may have been archived from the message board. It's a year or so old. Ooh, what kind? What kind? Nothing to do with you. Great! Then I'll join forces with you. Oh, no way! Uh, no info unless you let me join. You better really have that information. I do. Love this attitude. Welcome back. Mm. With that face, I take it you got nowhere? Wanna bet? Oh. He said that we might be able to trace the message back to a character by the name of Helba. Helba? He really said that? Yeah. He said she had talent. So you know this character? I've heard the name mentioned in rumors. So he knows that sort of character as well, huh? Uh-uh. He said she was just the friend of a friend and that's all. So, what exactly is she? A hacker with amazing skills. A hacker playing the game? And one with extraordinary talent? Well, you really can't question someone's hobbies. But, is it a hobby? Or something else? This is interesting. Well, you had a great success. So why is it that you look so down despite all that? Because... As payment for him to contact Helba for us, Sora made me promise that he'd be part of the plan. Shouldn't you be able to deal with him by now? Oh. <gasps> hey, it's BT. Would you prefer it to have been Mimiru? You mean I have to choose one or the other? Like I care. You're not doing any jumping today? I'm afraid it's raining. You really are something. Oh yeah. I was able to contact Helba today. And? It looks like she already knew about you guys. 
She said she'll be in contact with you later. If that's all, you could have just mailed us. Yes, but I needed an excuse. The real deal is from here on out. I noticed you seem to be hanging out with Krim a lot lately, but you should be careful. Is that so? You'd like to have the item, right? I just want to find it before anyone else does. I have no interest in the item itself, so I'll give it to you. But what... But what about Krim? He'll help you now, but he used to be one of the Crimson Knights, you know. His old code might not allow an item that goes against the system. If Krim finds it first, he'll claim that the item never existed. Even if you do find it first, Krim will probably take it away from you. That seems like pretty good advice. See? I'm a good deal. <laughs> I'll give it some thought. Here, eat this. It will help you. Hey, you don't have to get up. Just eat this. <gasps> Sorry. <sighs> so, why did you accept her request? <sighs> Please stay for a bit. If you want to, of course. You are here alone again in your sweet sanity. Uh, why me? Why am I the only one who's like this? It's so warm. And that poor little Crunchy was really warm, too. And it was even warmer when it was feeling well. <laughs> I had no idea that a baby Grunty was that warm, so I decided I didn't want it to disappear. So that's why I really tried my hardest to... Uh, I tried. I tried. 